my channel it is Jada and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I re-moisturize and stretch my natural hair without using heat but before we get into this video please make sure to scroll down and click the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video let's get on with the video so guys, I am starting off with my hair in four sections. I have learned that working with your hair in sections is just better for you. It goes a lot faster and you don't have to keep dealing with all the extra frizz. So I always part my hair in four sections when I do this. I am gonna go in with my As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water and I'm just gonna spray the first section from root to tip. And then after I spray, I'm going to squeeze the water in because I do have low porosity hair. So I've learned that squeezing the water into my hair shaft really helps to get the moisture into my hair so that I can prep it for my cream that I'm going to put in afterwards. Now I'm going to go in with my Mia Organics Curl Smoothie from the Pomegranate and Honey line. This was my first time trying this product, but I really did like it. It gave me a lot of moisture and it also went into my hair really good. Like I said before, low porosity hair is very hard to figure out how to moisturize and keep the moisture in. But this product is one of the products that actually does moisturize my hair. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my hand like you uh, saw me do and then I'm going to use my hands to rake the product through my hair from root to tip just like I did the water for the same reasons that I squeezed the water into my hair. It just helps seal in the moisture and make sure that the product is penetrating the shaft of my hair. Lastly, I'm taking one of my favorite hair oils. It is the olive oil. It's just regular olive oil from Kroger. You know, the cheap one that works. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in my hair to seal in the moisture. Remember y'all, that oil is a sealant. It will not moisturize your hair alone. So make sure that after you put products in your hair, you always seal it with any oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Mine today was olive oil, like I said before, but just make sure you go in and seal it. I'm going to use the same method to put it into my hair and then we'll go on to the other sections. Just remember that what I'm doing here is the LCO method. You can do the LOC method, whichever one is basically just a water-based leave-in, a cream moisturizer, and an oil to seal in the moisture. To stretch my hair after I moisturize it, I'm going to be using the banding method. All it is is taking ponytail holders and putting them on the sections, wrap it around the section from root to tip. I, my hair takes two, some people's hair takes three or four, depends on how long your hair is, but my hair takes two. And all I do is wrap it around the section and keep going until I reach the end. Now all I have left to do is go ahead and finish the other three sections that are already in my head. This process doesn't take much time at all and it is perfect for lazy naturals like me. I don't know why I wasn't doing this at first. It's probably the reason why when I started my hair journey I was so upset with my hair. But y'all it literally takes 5 to 10 minutes to moisturize your hair. Just do it and I promise you you will love the outcomes. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the rest of the video until we get into the end result.
when you are all done moisturizing and banding your sections don't forget to take you some oil and oil your scalp massage it into your scalp and make sure that you cover some of the hair that you forgot to get when you were putting oil to seal in the moisturizer when you were first doing it and after that you are done so that is how I stretch my hair and re-moisturize my mini twist. If you like this video, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you would love to join our family, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And make sure to turn on that bell so you can know when I post videos, which is everything. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.